good evening, my beautiful homesteader. So it is cranberry season. So I went to Costco and I got five bags of, in there, two pounds of cranberries. And so what we're gonna do is I have my steam uh, juice extractor. I'm hoping that um, one bag would make one quart of juice uh, but we'll see my homesteaders. So we're going to experiment. So come along with me and we're gonna make cranberry juice. Okay, my homesteader, so as you see, this is our um, steam juice extractor. The bottom piece, you put water all the way to the top and we're gonna be boiling uh, this for 40 minutes. And then the second part, there's a little divot here and this is where the hose goes. And this is like a bunt pan. And this is where the steam will come up this hole and it will um, extract the juices from the top as the fruit's gonna be here. And this is where all the juice is gonna collect here. And as you can see, the mistake I remember I made last time, my homesteaders, is there a little hole down here and you have to have juice above that for it to come out of this hose. Um, if not, it's not gonna come out. And that's how I made that huge uh, mess last time. And then this is the, it's like a colander and it will go on top. And this is where we're gonna put all of our um, fruit here. And okay friends, so this is our one bag, two pound cranberries. Let's see how many bags it takes here. And that is two bags. bags and we could probably put um, maybe a half a bag on top of there. Okay. Okay friends, so we have to set our timer. We're gonna set it for 40 minutes. And after 40 minutes then we'll come back and see if we got some juice. Sir, so this this is hot. This uh, just came out of our juice extractor and uh, as you can see um, you want about the first quart, you want to dump it right back in to the top here because uh, look at all of our nice cranberries in there, uh, homesteaders. Let's just put this like this to make sure it gets into our jar there. And then, oh, this is hot. We're going to pour it right back in because it, um, the first about quart, you want to put back in because it has a lot of sugar and pectin and it will make it very thick. And plus you want to sterilize this hose as well. And so we'll continue to let this uh, boil and uh, then we'll come back and then we'll uh, get the rest of our juice. Okay, my beautiful home setters, as you can see, so we used uh, four bags and they were two pounds each of the cranberries that we got from Costco. And that gave us um, one half gallon jar of homemade 100% cranberry juice, which is excellent for you. It has so many health benefits. You can drink it just like this. It is gonna be a little bit of tart, or you can add um, some sugar. So whatever your family likes, um, you can uh, change it um, for your family. And uh, so it is the holiday season. So a lot of times after uh, the holidays, cranberries will go on sale. And at that time, I will buy a lot more and then I will uh, can this juice. And as you can see, it was so very simple with our steam juice extractor. All you do is fill the bottom up with water, pour the top with your fruit, and all you have to do is just wait and you get homemade juice. And when I made my grape jelly, oh my goodness, I had to steam it, then I had to get a uh, cheesecloth, and run it through and then a strainer and a cheesecloth and it just took forever. So the steam juice extractor really does a good job. So I hope you got something from this video and I hope you go and make your own very 100% cranberry juice. And so I enjoyed spending time with you today. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Until next time from my kitchen to yours, bye bye.